when we're talking about transitioning and the cost of transitioning, you have the hormones, the surgeries, there's there's so much involved. People spend tens of thousands of dollars up and above $100,000. And then um, sadly, there is the other side of that debt if your life changes after transition. You know, if, you, if your marital status changes, if your employment changes. Um, but just sticking with medical debt alone, the one thing that really rang true is I love, Haley, last time you said, whatever you do, do not go into your retirement fund to pay for your medical expenses up front. And I loved hearing that because there were certain things, and my mother's going to hear this, that she beat into me. And the thing I was always raised on was like a volcano could erupt. You don't touch your retirement fund. Okay. Um, but there was a specific reason you said not to do that. And I'm, I'm going to get you there. Uh, but also you had wanted to say that in talking about medical expenses as you're giving advice and talking about how you can kind of help people wipe the slate clean with certain medical expenses later you are not encouraging them to go rack up a lot of debt to then go through bankruptcy like there's other ways to manage Um, if you want to change your life and having large medical expensive procedures is a part of that journey there's ways you can do it without destroying your retirement and destroying your bank account 